let's talk about intermittent fasting and hunger. Learning how to deal with hunger has been a really important part of success with intermittent fasting for me. Now, to be clear, I don't experience hunger all that often, but even though I'm very, very used to intermittent fasting, I still sometimes do. And certainly in the beginning, I experienced a lot of hunger. And I used to be so afraid of hunger. You know, like I had this thought in my head of, you know, like, oh man, if I feel hungry, then that means I'm not eating enough. And that means, you know, it's going to slow down my metabolism. I'm going to put my body in starvation mode. and It's just going to hang on to all the fat. But what I started to understand was that was really not the case at all. In fact, a lot of times the things that I thought were hunger weren't really true hunger. For me, I experienced like four different kinds of hunger. And um, so I've learned how to, you know, deal with those different kinds. And I've learned how to recognize, you know, true hunger from other types. The first type of hunger is habit hunger. That is what I experience usually on Monday mornings because Sunday, you know, I take the day off from fasting and a lot of times I'll have breakfast on Sunday. Well, without fail, Monday morning at usually the same exact time that I had breakfast the day before, that's when I feel hungry. But really, that's not true hunger for me. That is just habit. And I found for me, you know, habit hunger goes away really quickly. You know, it's just one of those things I recognize it as habit and then it just goes away. Usually within, you know, I would say 30 minutes at the longest. The next type of hunger I learned to uh, recognize was boredom. And the way I started, because in the beginning, you know, I tried to figure out like, am I really feeling hungry? And so what I would do is I would tell myself, okay, uh, 30 minutes from now, if you're still hungry, then you can eat something. And so what I would do is I would get busy doing something, you know, I would clean house or I would, you know, read a book or or whatever and what usually ended up happening was I would look up and it'd be three hours later and I would think oh wow you know I was hungry and, and now I'm not anymore and so what I started to realize was those times I wasn't actually hungry I was bored the key to getting rid of boredom hunger is just to stay busy but there are times where I'm still hungry after that 30 minutes I'll say okay hmm you know I'm still feeling hungry and so then I'll think you know is anything bothering me because I'm the type of person who tends to stressy you know and intermittent fasting has been fantastic because it stopped my stress eating it was just you know I started realizing I have to work through these things instead of just you know putting food in my mouth if I asked myself okay you know how are you feeling are you, are you upset about something are you stressed about something if the answer was yeah I'm stressed about you know this that or the other then I would say okay you got to figure out a different way to deal with it a lot of times what I've found the best thing is just to go for a walk most of the time just getting out and, and getting some steps in it just clears my mind and it helps ease any stress I have I've also found uh, journaling helps or just talking you know to my husband or, or whoever about the thing that's bothering me another thing that I've done actually that has been helpful with that is negative visualization which is basically like thinking of the worst case scenario and then accepting it and then trying to improve upon it okay but you know sometimes I experience what I would call true hunger true hunger to me is like when you are actually hungry it is persistent your stomach is growling and it won't stop you have the actual hunger and even when I feel true hunger I don't eat I obey my fasting window one thing that really helps me a lot is that I drink coffee I drink coffee with half and half but even if the coffee doesn't you know curb the craving I still just won't eat you know like I know that I'm gonna be okay and that's something that intermittent fasting has taught me that you know like whereas I used to be so afraid to let myself get hungry I realized like just because you feel hungry and you don't eat doesn't mean you're gonna die <laughs> one important thing I do is if I am feeling true hunger then I remind myself that at my next meal I really need to do a better job of eating this doesn't happen very often because I can sit down and really put away the food and what helps me also is I realize like hey you know my my body knows what to do here it stored fat for a reason you know and the whole thing is once it doesn't have any food and it's gonna start burning the fat so I, I look at it as like okay well you know I'll sit here and burn some fat right now <laughs> what have your experiences been with intermittent fasting and hunger you know a lot of people I've talked to kind of have the same experiences but I'd be curious to know do you feel hunger a lot during your fasting window or have you found that your body adjusts really quickly have you found that you you know have a lot of like stress hunger or I heard somebody call it head hunger the other day and I thought that's a really good way to describe it okay well thank you for watching be sure to like comment and subscribe down below